Howdy. My name is Ty Sutton. And for our Monarch Butterfly Service Project, we did the GIS mapping. This is my digital story. My group members were Lucy Clark, Katie Spin, Benjamin Phillips, Carlos Fernandez, Marshall Garrett, Estefany Doronado, Marcella Montes, who was also our group coordinator for the entire group project for the GIS mapping. And lastly but not least, Simon Mamen. On the lat on the two bottom pictures, you see two pictures of monarch butterflies. On the right hand side, it was a monarch butterfly species pollinate, pollinating the milkweed milkweed species in Dallas. On the left hand side is a, a monarch butterfly pollinating spruce species. Moving forward, for this project, we had to find all the park locations in College Station and in Bryan, Texas, and map them, uh, map them on Google Maps. There were a total of 51 park locations that had signing the monarch butterflies. Our group leader, Marcella Montes, divided up the parks among us. Um, we then had to create a Google Excel sheet with all the locations and names um, of each park for the project. This is how we each contributed to the GIS mapping. I had 16 locations with sightings of monarch butterflies. Below are the parks. For example, Austin Recreational Area, Austin's Colony Park, and I've also attached the link to each of these parks so you can visit them at your own convenience. Uh, one thing um, to mention is that our group never visit these parks in person. Um, we just did it online and uh, through mapping their uh, exact location uh, by using uh, Google Maps. Uh, there's also Google Earth, but we found it was more effective to use Google Maps during this whole process. Um, moving forward through to the in Billy Madley Park and Heritage Park. Um, I found that the parks that had natural areas, such as parks, uh, I mean trails or creeks, um, uh, pond areas, had a larger population of monarch butterflies in the area, rather than parks that have baseball fields, uh, tennis courts, and uh, a lot of areas that you know there's going to be a lot of traffic movement, there's not going to be a lot of, um, butterflies or other insect species or um, even birds uh, in that area due to the high traffic um, in those areas. On the next slide, I will show Lions Park, Park Hudson Trail, and Redbud Park are three more examples of parks in Bryan, Texas that had, had sightings of monarch butterflies as, in, uh, as they uh, made their journey south towards Mexico for the cold winter months. Um, for each of these parks I have, once I said, um, once again I said, I've attached the links to each of them so you can visit at your own convenience. Uh, one thing to address is that the um, uh, Redbud Park um, has a, uh, uh, is known to have monarch butterflies in their areas because um, they have planted gardens that uh, for uh, flowers and uh, that attract them to their garden. So they're especially known to have monarch butterflies in that area. We also have Rock Collar Trail, Ronnie Jackson Memorial Trail, and Rosewood Trail. Um, all of these areas that are listed here are known to also have monarch butterflies in that area. Um, the reviews that found um, Ronnie Jackson Memorial Trail had the uh, highest um, sightings. Um, I've also personally heard uh, just from talking with people that's a great place, as well as the Rosewood Trail to go and um, visit um, during the monarch butterflies migration towards uh, Mexico. Um, I personally have not been out there, but I've heard uh, great things about those two parks. Um, it'd be definitely something to look into for the future. Um, 
moving on, the Sadie Thompson Memorial Park and the Sam Rayburn School Park. These are the two examples of the parks that, and this is my opinion, this is our research I read anywhere or um, any uh, extra sources that found um, backing my opinion up. But in my opinion, as I stated earlier, areas that have amenities such as baseball, softball, basketball, um, pavilion type areas, um, the uh, sightings of monarch butterflies is not going to be as high due to the traffic of a lot of movement of people, um, vehicles, <coughs> um, animals, um, and other things uh, like that. Scurry Park and Sherwood Trail. Scurry Park is another park in my example that may not have a high population of monarch butterflies in that area due to the amenities of baseball and softball and basketball uh, courts. Um, uh, but there are some areas of uh, picnic tables areas and I imagine it has uh, vast areas where you could possibly spot a couple of butterflies in that area. Sherwood Trail has a um, uh, uh, the amenities of a trail which are probably more susceptible of having monarch butterflies or other species of insects in that area. Symphony Park and Winchester Park are two other great examples of um, having uh, are two great parks that are known to have monarch butterflies in that area as well as other species of butterflies and um, different uh, species of birds. More uh, commonly is known to, uh, for bird watchers to come out and see different birds in that area. In these, uh, in these two photos here we have um, a photo of uh, the locations that we use uh, during uh, the process of mapping each location. Um, our uh, source was um, um, Google Maps um, and all these colored dots that you see on the right hand side is of each group members a designated location. Mine's a dark blue, it's kind of hard to tell on the map but this is where we um, pinpoint and map all of our locations for the Monarch Butterfly Service Project. This is an example of our Google Excel sheet that we uh, that each group member did uh, for participation during the GIS mapping project. On the left hand side, it's first self-explanatory, on the left hand side we have the locations, on the right hand side we have the addresses. In conclusion, I will highly recommend um, the next group who uh, takes Etymology 322 to do this project in person. Go out and visit all of these parks and uh, take pictures of monarch butterflies in person. I believe you will get more out of it as a group rather than just doing it uh, strictly online. Thanks and get on everyone.